Kelly Graff. I am an en route care and critical care nurse with First Medical Battalion. So today we're running our en route care preparatory class. Uh, we host that training from First Medical Battalion with instructors that are flight nurses and flight corpsmen. So the training that we are conducting today uh, provides a foundation for caring for the critically injured patient or casualty. Um, it allows our nurses and corpsmen to work together as a team. The biggest difficulty that we try and simulate is lack of resources. Uh, so we make it really imperative that these corpsmen understand the importance of planning ahead, utilizing and um, capitalizing on the resources that we have available to them. For en route care specifically, we operate on CASAVAC platforms. So those are platforms that are not dedicated medevac, so their mission is not solely medical evacuation of patients or casualties. CASAVAC allows us, we use the term bird of opportunity or platform of opportunity. We train our teams of corpsmen and nurses so that we can operate and provide care to critically injured patients on any platform. Uh, we have helicopter sounds going, we've got the wind blowing, we make it dark, we make it hot in order to simulate what an actual flight is going to be like. Um, it's very difficult to hear, it's very difficult to communicate with your team, uh, so we require them to think outside the box and get creative with how they're going to communicate and how they're going to conduct their patient care scenarios. Uh, we all operate as a corpsman nurse, a nurse first, obviously, and we are ready to take care of those patients in the setting that we are assigned to. Um, but then moving that patient or that casualty out of that setting to the next one. We're always going to move to a next echelon of care. So having dedicated assets in the form of corpsmen and nurses who know how to do this mission is a huge benefit to our overall capability of uh, caring for these patients.